you have Laszlo talking about it because I've got nothing better else to do on day 65. Oh, Elon Musk, stirring the pot. Well, he did stir the pot on Joe Rogan podcast of about a year ago. Not this last time, but uh, there's a nice picture of that. So he did stir the pot with a cryptic red pill tweet. Now, <laughs> I hate to break the news to you folks, for you <laughs> right-leaning fanboys out there. Elon Musk is not a <laughs> conservative. He just said something really crazy because... At the end of that tweet was a red rose, which is usually socialism and, you know, the left, if you will. So I think what this is saying, he's more center than he is right and or left. But let's continue on. Tech billionaire Elon Musk has emerged as a champion to find stay-at-home orders intended to stop the coronavirus from spreading, may have come out as a conservative, he didn't on Twitter Sunday. Take the red pill. Of course, they didn't put the red rose and didn't understand the significance of that. The Tesla CEO wrote in a cryptic tweet to his 34 million followers. Um, now, talking about Elon Musk, you have someone like Tammy Bruce here. Uh, Tammy Bruce in the middle 80s, all the way until about the beginning of the 90s. She was a, not a socialist, but she was a Democrat, liberal, uh, feminist. And it took her a while for her to actually question her own political ideology. And she basically said, and I'm not going to, I don't want to put words in her mouth, but she basically became more conservative. She's not middle of the road. She is more right of center than she was way left of center back in the early 80s. But then she realized that the people she was dealing with were nuts, more or less. And so she became a conservative-ish. I mean, she's not completely, but she is more conservative. Now, when people make a big swing ideologically specific here from left to right, they usually go back left because you just don't do it overnight. And Elon Musk overnight just didn't become a conservative. That pendulum pendulum swing has to be swift but steady and kind of, Kind of easy. So in this instance, Elon Musk just didn't become conservative overnight. Maybe he is dipping his toe on the right. But it's going to take a long time for him to develop this, I guess, new ideology, if that's the case, which I don't necessarily believe. But we'll continue on here. Um, there's the tweet again. It says, tech billionaire who has emerged as a champion to define stay-at-home orders stirred the pot with his tweet. Take the red pill. And then he got that red flower. Some followers <laughs> saw it as a sign that Musk was pushing for conservative cause. He's not, but advisor to the president and first daughter Ivanka Trump later retweeted, adding the word taken. Okay. Now, again, Ivanka Trump has always been left of center. I don't think just because her dad decided to become a conservative a couple of years ago and become president and leader of the Republican Party that she is automatically a conservative. She's not. I'm not saying she's a bad person. She's just not. But she may have taken the red pill, but still dips her toe into the left, which is fine. You can do what you want. It's a free country. All right? However, here comes the outcry. Take the red pill is a line from the popular movie, The Matrix, about seeking the unvarnished truth. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed, and you believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. That's what Morpheus told uh, Neo. Now, more recently, it's slang for people abandoning the ways of liberalism for the values of conservatism. People of all ages and ethnicities posted online videos describing red pill moments. Um, Candace Owens used to have her, her YouTube channel called Red Pill Black, where she was a liberal, and then over, over years, she started questioning her political ideology, and she became pretty much conservative, even, dare I say, libertarian in some ways. But, okay. Personal awakenings that have caused them to reject leftist narratives imbibed since childhood from friends, teachers, and the news and the entertainment media. Musk has been vocally critical of government shutdown policies during the global pandemic, recently opening Tesla's California plant in defiance of local restrictions there last week. Now, to be fair, Gavin Newsom did reopen 
California, technically, but he left it up to the, the counties and municipalities and the cities and the towns and the hamlets and whatever you want to talk about it to open as they see fit. Well, I mean, Alameda County stated that, no, you're not going to open. So that pissed off uh, Elon Musk, and he decided to open it anyways. Uh, Tesla factory reopened Monday with Musk practically daring law enforcement to arrest him. The plant apparently continued operations on Tuesday. That was last week. Officials backed off. Wednesday announced that the move would be okay as long as the company followed previous degree upon worker safety precautions, which Elon Musk already implemented without being forced to by the government. So I don't get the problem here. The company also reportedly agreed to check workers' temperatures before they enter the facility. Tesla workers have not had a union. And there is old Elon Musk. Musk, whose company had sued Alameda County to try to overturning the over, also threatened to move Tesla's fact facility out of the state, which they probably won't do because he's got board of advisors. And la, 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 la. Anywho... The plant in Fremont, a city of more than 200,000 people from southwest, excuse me, southeast San Francisco, had been closed since March 23rd and employed about 10,000 workers. Many public health experts have accredited the stay-at-home orders with slowing the spread of novel coronavirus, helping hospitals handle the influx of cases. That's exactly what this was. The whole flattening the curve was supposed to not overwhelm the medical facilities and the medical infrastructure. Now, that hasn't happened. It almost did, but it hasn't happened. Now people are trying to go back to work saying, okay, we've done it. Let's go back. And you got some governments, mostly in blue states, saying, you can't do that. You want people to die. And Governor Whitmer, you're racist if you vote, if you protest against me. How is that racist? White cisgendered woman? Ooh, I use cisgendered. Alameda County was among cis six San Francisco Bay Area counties that were first in the nation to impose stay-at-home orders in mid-March. The outcry, the... <laughs> Of course, from her, him, whatever this person professes to. Lily Wachowski, who used to be a dude, it is what it is, rounds on Ivanka Trump and Elon Musk over Matrix tweets. The director is infuriated by social media banter in which Musk and Trump dare, dare have a dissenting opinion about the red pill. Oh boy. Filmmaker Lily Wachowski has responded Bonded to Elon Musk and Ivanka Trump after the pair bantered on social media using the phrase of the Wachowskis' hit 1990 film, 99 film, The Matrix. After Musk tweeted, take the red pill, referring to a key scene in The Matrix, and they don't mention the red rose, but okay, which subsequently gave rise to the phrase red pilling as an alt-right misogynist. What? Bullcrap. It is not a misogynist meme, you idiots. Along with the red rose emoji, normally associated with Democratic Socialists of America. Thank you. Unfortunately, the Guardian is trash. But hey, whatever. The party to which Alexander Ocasio Cortez and Rashida Tali belong, Trump replied, taken. That's Ivanka Trump, not the Trump. Wachowski then pithily responded, F both of you. Yes. You got to leave it to the liberals with their pithy comments because F both of you is really good to say, I don't agree with your sentiment, but I will fight to the death for you to, de for, uh, de to defend it. F both of you is point taken. Hmm. 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 Before following up with the tweet supporting the brave space Alliance, what the F is that? which describes itself as a first black trans-led LGBTQIA XP Explofim Batman Symbol Center located on the south side of Chicago. <laughs> of course, says Taken. And then Lily Wachowski pithily says, F both of you, which doesn't really add to the, you know, the discussion here other than, I'm going to take my bell and go home. Mm. Musk, the South African-born entrepreneur who was the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, posted his original tweet with no other comment, but it is not to refer to his clash with authorities in California over his plans to reopen Tesla factory in Fremont, in which he was supported by Donald Trump. Okay. Now, in the Matrix, the selection of the blue red pill referred by Lawrence Fishburne's revolutionary leader Morpheus to, reluct to reluctant hero hacker Neo, played by Keanu Reeves, is framed as a choice between the blue pill's willful ignorance, uh, yep, 
You wake up in your bed and believe the truth, whatever you want to. And taking the red pill, I'll show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Wachowski came out as trans in 2016, following the fellow Matrix director, Sibling Lana, who came out in 2012. Oh, so let me get this straight. So the Wachowski brothers were brothers before 2012. Lana came out as trans. Then soon after... Lily comes out as trans in 2016. I forgot all about that. So they're not the Wachowski brothers. They're the Wachowski sisters. Okay. Hmm. Whatever. Anyways. So. Continue on with that outrage. Elon Musk falls foul with his mother-in-law Grimes. Mom slams daughter's partner for tweeting right wing take on the red pill meme. Accusing him of blaring... Oh, for Christ's sake. Men's right activism BS. But he was praised by Ivanka. And therein lies the rub. Oh, God. Grimes' mother, Sandy Garosino, appears to have slammed her daughter's boyfriend, Elon Musk, about that tweet. The billionaire entrepreneur, whose girlfriend Grimes gave birth to their son two weeks ago, cryptically tweeted that tweet. Yeah, she's a fetching lung lady, I guess. Anyways, the billionaire entrepreneur whose girlfriend Grimes gave birth to their son. Uh, I read that. The red pill reference to the... Okay, I've already read that part. Must tweet. Seemingly prompted backlash from his girlfriend's Canadian media commentator mother. Ah, yes. The Canadian media. Hmm. I wonder what political spectrum they prof- profess to. Oh, yeah, that's right. The left. So what do you expect? God's sakes. If your partner went through a challenging pregnancy and childbirth in the last two weeks, here it comes, and you were over 16 year old, oh my God, here it comes, would you be blaring M-R-A-B-S? Oh, really, men's right activists. So men's rights or men doesn't deserve any rights, I guess. Is that it? Ms. Garasino? Who wrote on the now deleted tweet. Oh, she deleted the tweet. I see. Ah, yes. Sandy. Another name or euphemism for Karen. <sighs> I, I don't see how him saying that tweet, not yet two weeks old, has anything to do with what he said. It has nothing to say. She's just pissed off that he said something that she didn't agree with. This is why, Sandy, you shouldn't say anything. It should be in private, not broadcasting it to the world and have people like me thinking that you're another Karen whose name's Sandy. Stop it. Stop it. Garasino, who also weighed in others, were critical of Musk's tweet, including German, I mean, <laughs> might as well, Canadian activist Gerald Butts, <laughs> Butts, who tweeted, Buddy has a three-year-old baby. Maybe step away from the bro, bro flakes. What? What? Why? Gerald Butts? <laughs> You're an idiot. Musk and his partner Grimes announced that his birth of their baby, which they named XAEA12 last week. Hey, more power to you. You should see the memes about uh, his son. That's nuts. Grimes' mother went on to retweet a post slamming the controversial reopening of Musk's Tesla factory in California. Lady, stay out of the business to, hey, you have no business being in. You're freaking Canadian. Worry about Canada. Jesus, H double K Christ. <sighs> All her tweets related to Musk have since been deleted, but still live in my heart. Talked about the blue and the red pill again. And then I like this one here. When you take Dayquil and Iquil at the same time, did you seriously take both pills? What the F is wrong with you? See, that's where I think this comes full circle. I think he is dipping his toe both on the left and the right from the center. More power to him. He has his own right. If he is an American citizen, which I think he is, he has every right to do this. And these other people have every right to stupidly comment about it, then delete it, knowing that, oh, you'll never see it. But you do. (laughs) But you do. 
Oh. While Musk's intention behind the tweet isn't clear, and he shouldn't clear it up, the red pill phrase is now commonly used to show it is not necessarily right wing, you freaking morons. Political waking is used widely on the online forum suit in support of President Donald Trump as well as men's rights organizations. Again, what is wrong with men trying to get certain rights that, dare I say, if you've ever seen the, uh, the court system and men who get divorced, they have no rights, not necessarily. <laughs> People sometimes describe themselves as having red pill moments, personal awakings that have caused them to reject leftist narratives imbibed since childhood explains Fox News, which I've already read. According to Urban Dictionary, oh, for Christ's sake, don't don't quote Urban Dictionary, and you just freaking did. Holy. Red pill has become a popular phrase in cyber culture <laughs> and signifies free-thinking attitude, which it does, and waking up from a normal, normie, life as a sloth and ignorance. Red pills prefer the truth no matter how gritty and painful it may be. The red pill philosophy is also part of the alt-right movement. Alt- Why do they keep it's not mm. just because you say it is doesn't make it true. Richard Spence. Oh, I can't believe. Seriously? Oh, my God. I'm not even going to mention his name. That's stupid. Oh, my God. I think you see what I see. Moving on. Taking the red pill or being red pill is much more commonly used on the Internet to denote right wing political awakening. Kind of. Must tweet as well. Ivanka's retweet earned a quick rebuke. Of course, from Lily Wachowski, which in the art of the article, she's pithily said, F both of you, which is. Anywho. And it just goes over, he defied the order, blah, blah, blah. So, what can we say about all of this right now? Well, one, in closing, Elon Musk is no more conservative than Joe Rogan. He's just dipping his toe on both sides. He just stirs the pot, just make people make news about him. And then he just, he basically pulled what Donald Trump usually does to create buzz. And that's what he did. He created buzz. And so what do people do? They got to respond to him. His girlfriend's mother has to go, I didn't like you. And then deletes the tweet. And then Lily Wachowski, why? If you would have ignored him, guess what? It have went away immediately. But now you have Laszlo talking about it because I've got nothing better else to do on day 65. Thank you, Elon Musk. Thank you.